Hey guys, it's Sensei Mew212345 back for some more Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. In the last episode, let me see, we cleared up to High Caves, and in this episode, I think there's only one more world left in Afghanistan. We are almost through with the green terrorists for the most part. I think there are still terrorists left after this world. Just not egg carrying ones like that guy, the blue terrorist there. Oh, let's see. This is High Caves. And, oh right, we have to do the um, race level. Let's do that. It's closer. Entering Crystal Flight. Oh, let's see. This is a pretty difficult one, if I remember correctly. Anyway, it starts out with this whole little ring thing, so... Nothing... Like, nothing really new yet. Like, still same types of obstacles. They're just making it harder. Oh. Fairy, your 2D-ness does not effectively point me in the right direction. And I hate these arches when you're trying to do this, because it takes so much time to get in between. That's ridiculous how far that one is away. I mean, come on. Are you trying to subtract from my time? They should be worth more than two seconds. Let's see. Oh, and now we got planes. Okay, so... Gotta get this done really quick. I should have gone down and gotten that chest. Let's see. Oh, boy. Stress land. Stress land at 10 o'clock. Oh, boy. Come on. Die, you stupid plane fools. Yes. Come on. Yes. Oh, and we can go down and get that treasure chest. How efficient. Oh, nope. Spyro, don't stop. You don't have enough time left to stop. These are only worth two. Dang it. Oh. Losing control a little bit here. But I think we might actually get this one on the first try anyway. Oh. Yeah. Spyro does his little twirly flying thingy. Ha ha ha. Straight up into the sky. Alright. And as usual, if you feel like you can beat that time, go right ahead. I'm not really trying for time. I'm pretty sure you can beat it. Anyway, there was a little clip there of Spyro's in innards, if you ever want to know what those looked like. And, oh, let's see. Hmm. So next we've got High Caves. Not High- No, not High Caves! You're being retarded, Sensei, come on. You need to get your head out of X-Men First Class. I just got done watching that movie. That's a really interesting movie to say the least if you've watched the other X-Men movies but if you haven't then I'm not going to rape your mind oh we got more giant blue terrorists and they can create snowmen now oh man let's see let's not forget this blue gem here we don't want to... there are a lot of blue there are tons and tons and tons of gems you can miss right off the bat here if you go by too quickly and don't go this direction first. Because this direction is kind of hidden from view. And there are ha like half the gems in the level are over here. So you want to make sure you pass through this way. Otherwise you will miss all kinds of stuff. And it's going to suck. So let's just hurry up and... I want to know what that thing was doing there. That whatever it's called antelope I guess you could say it is I mean it's not it's too t it's too small to be an antelope but that's what we'll call it okay guys I want to know what it was doing all the way up here like what what was that that Spyro just did you like flew up and like I don't even know let's see oh come on camera oh no 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 no, no. don't press R don't press R1 and L1 that's not turn the camera L R1 and L1 is the get yourself killed button Let's see, because it makes you do a pointless dodge roll that typically only makes you fall off cliffs, and that's bad. Alright, here we should be able to confront the giant blue terrorist of doom. Ow! Stupid noob. Oh, let's see. Now we can go ahead and kill the rest of these people, including, whoa, the terrorist wife. See, actually, I think it would probably be a better idea to go ahead and go through here and make sure the giant blue terrorists summon all of the snowmen. Ow! Stop shocking me! 
I don't want to be shocked. Let's see. Ow, you stupid guy here. Okay, he's in position, which means he's summoned all his terrorists. Or all his terrorist snowmen. So, we can go back to the beginning of the level and go back that way again. And find our way over to him. Oh, actually, we probably really want to kill this thing and get Sparks back. I just noticed we didn't have Sparks, man. I'm like really off this episode, but then again, I thought it would be, so... You know, I haven't uploaded in a while because I haven't been recording because things have been going on. I just couldn't get myself to recording. So I'm a little bit out of practice, so I apologize for that ahead of time. So you can just glide over to here. How efficient! One more dead giant blue terrorist. Alright. As for the terrorist wives, they shall burn. And the snow terrorists shall melt. Everything is now officially a terrorist in this game. They're not norks, they're all terrorists. Let's see. Oh, whoa, I almost fell into the water again. That would have been stupid. Rescued Yarvis. Welcome to Wizard Peaks. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Yay, you can officially charge large enemies with a supercharge. But... Let's see, I don't think we've missed anything more over in that direction, so let's go ahead and do as he says and go ram some wizard butt. Bam! Or excuse me, terrorist butt. Let's see. Anyway, we can use this to kill all the giant wizards of Oz and terrorism. And we can also use it to destroy this. How lovely. Oh. Okay, Spyro, stop ramming your head into walls. I know you love doing that, but you need to stop. Just for right now. Okay, now we're going to use the supercharge to get supercharged from here, and then get more supercharged from here, and then we can make this jump, and it's going to be awesome. Yes! Haha. <laughs> oh, and guess what? It's another blue terrorist. Come here, you blue terrorist. I know you're back here. Bam! Oh, you didn't even have any time to react because you're such a noob. You need to quit your foolish noobiness and actually try to beat me, you fool. Let's see. Okay, good. I still have this on the full screen recording. That's good because last time, for those of you who saw that episode, I tried the full screen recording and obviously it did not go as planned. So, how do you get back? Are you just expected to glide all that way? Let's hope we can make it. Okay, we can, fortunately. Oh, giant blue terrorist. Oh, I killed him early. That's awesome. I think all the snowman people are still going to be created, though, because otherwise you would miss out on so much gems. So many gems. My grammar is not very good, apparently. All right, dragon. Watch this guy. Watch. Thank you for releasing me. Does anyone else get the feeling that he's, like, growing bigger? Here, let's watch this again. Watch him. He is slowly growing bigger all the time. Thank you for releasing me. See, like, he stands up, and you can expect that to make him taller, but he starts, like, expanding. He starts slowly getting fatter. Oh. Almost got hit, but that doesn't matter. Let me just go straight back up here, and... Start ramming some more terrorist butt. Yes! And let's not forget these gems that we almost forgot here by totally jumping over them. Alright, now we can break this. And let's see... We can collect all the gems in this little path, but we're going to need the supercharge in order to make that jump there. The double supercharge. You want to charge down both the supercharge ramps, because then you'll get, like, double supercharge speed. And you can use that to make some really insane jumps. So, we'll just head up here and start from this supercharge ramp and go all the way down to the bottom. Alright, here we go. Now we just have to make our way through this cave while going super fast. And shoop, Oh. Yes. You, you have to admit, that was an awesome epic omega jump. Let's see, what do we have back here? Nothing? more than just those little red gems back there, okay. 
I was hoping for something a little more exciting. How sad. And now we're going to go over here and grab all this stuff. Bang! Oh, yes. Don't you love just collecting treasure, Spyro? And jumping while charging, it makes you look super awesome. Oh, you stupid moron. You smashed me with a giant wooden club, and I very much would not like to be smashed by giant wooden clubs. I know you're made of snow, and I know that upsets you, but that gives you no re... That guy's going really slow. And, of course, my falling into the water halted the cutscene. Alright, we need to go find some small animals to incinerate. Because we're running dangerously low on health now. And I really don't want to die. Okay, so... Oh, oh. Come back. You stupid little... Yeah, I remember having a lot of trouble with this level as a kid. Anyone who's played this game before, you know, tell me your experiences with this level because I always had so much trouble at the beginning there trying to find all the gems because I kept missing that thing at the beginning where it gives you, like, that little hidden path that you wouldn't think was there. You know, that was a evil move on the part of Insomniac and Sony. It took me so long to figure out that was there, but luckily I've beaten this game several times now and I know it's there, so... You stupid Sony people trying to trick me. I mean, they do that a couple times in this game where they just confuse the living crap. Wow, the snowman was attacking the poor green terrorist. Oh, how sad. Terrorist betrayal. Of course, we saw that before, didn't we? Let's see. Recu rescued Lucas. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the Artisan Home. It is at the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan Home? Waterfall? Sounds good. Yay! Something I showed way back in, like, Episode 2, right? No, no, no. I first showed you that in Episode 1. I just didn't go there until Episode 2. So, yeah. They're finally teaching us things that we should have known for a very long time at this point. I mean, albeit the first time through the game, that might be a little helpful, but if you've played the demo, it's kind of easy to tell that that's what you have to do. Like, I'll have to show you the demo. I think the demo is on... I can't remember which Crash game, but I'll have to show you it. I'll have to redo my research and figure out where it is. And I'll show you what I mean by the demo sometime. Tuco the Balloonist. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Yeah, I do believe I've killed every single blue terrorist that has a dragon egg in the game. That said, we will see more of those terrorists of different colors later on, so we haven't seen the last of them. They'll be carrying keys next. And gems. They'll be stealing the gems, too. Hop aboard for the Beast Makers world if you are ready. Beast Makers? Let's see what this place is all about. This place sounds awesome. I want to meet some Beast Makers. I would love to make beasts. Of course, now th that's even more ironic after watching an X-Men movie. Now it makes you feel terrible. Jeez. Bad timing for the... Ugh. This is like green, disgusting swamp place. With chickens, fried chickens, oh yes! I love these chickens. I love them. Dwork! Oh, my favorite small animal butterfly giver in the game. Only, oh, now the Norks have mastered the power of electricity. So, of course, here's why I really don't... Oh, that Nork just fried the chicken. Now you're right. I really don't get this. Is this supposed to be metal? It looks more like stone. And yet, it's totally able to conduct electricity. Like, physics fail much? Anyway, we'll go kill them. So you just want to be careful. Those guys actually will start to get really challenging. We'll put, start placing them in levels, and they'll be really hard to maneuver around sometimes. Rescued Bruno. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junkie. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure So beautiful. So beautiful. 
I can imagine that this was a beautiful swamp, but now it's a dump. So, I apologize for that. Alright. This is why you don't pollute the environment, guys. You get disgusting worlds in Spyro like this. Let's see. Oh. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do for, for right now is I'm going to complete the overworld and end the episode. Since we're about 15 minutes into the recording and I've already done two levels anyway. So now we've got huge pigs. Oh. Fried pork. Yes. And more trees, except these trees are not like the cacti from World 2. They do not shake off the ashes, unfortunately. Oh, you humongous Pigosaurus Rex. That is why I shall call them from now on. That was the most random thing in the world, but that is why I shall call those guys from now on. They are Pigosaurus Rex. Let's see. Anyway, we got more of these to launch Skyward. Skyward Sword much. Let's see. Oh, holy crap! Surprise pig out of the blue. I really don't appreciate that, Sony. That was disgusting what you did there. Oh, man. Let's see. We've got more gems in here and happy music for days. Let's see. Oh! So much broken metal. And a dragon that I, for some reason, haven't gotten yet. Cletus. Oh, lag. Spyro, it's great to see you. But I've got to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so random. I forgot that dragon was even there. Spyro! It's so great to see you, but I've got to go. You know, I've got more important things to do. Or rather, I think you're just disgusting and I want to get out away from you ASAP. Let's see. It's okay, Mr. Giant Fat Dragon. I'm sure you get that a lot yourself. Let's see. Anyway, we've got another humongous Pegasaurus Rex over here. We may take our... Re I thought I burned that tree over there. Didn't I say that they don't shake off the ashes? Apparently, I must have been wrong. Oh, but get used to burning those guys, because you're going to start hating those guys when they come to life. Oh, yes. And we've got ten gems back here. And there's a tree stump over there, but we can't make to there and more fried chicken yes fried chicken for days oh have I ever told you guys how much I love chicken like seriously in real in real life I love chicken I can't stop chickens the best thing in the world can't have enough chicken tastes like chicken chicken tastes like chicken yes okay so more crystallized baby dragon extra lives over here. Oh, now here's the part where these start to get a little difficult to navigate, or at least I remember them being difficult to navigate when I was a kid. Let's see. Oh, oh, da 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 da. Ah, yes. You cannot defeat me, and we forgot stuff down here. So we've got, bam, some more treasure. Oh, whoa, don't fall into the green, disgusting water crap, Spyro. That could be bad. It's poisonous. It's poisonous, Spyro. You don't want to go there. Let's see. Anyway, we'll go over there once we go over to the top of this pyramid thing. Oh, and he was just about to go. I could just feel him getting ready to go. Can't, you know that feeling you get when you're, like, fighting an enemy and all of a sudden you feel like he's going to attack and then you can just dodge right in time? I just got that. Ah, oh, thank you, Instincts. Oh! <laughs> I just crushed the chicken. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a that's what you call a memorable memorable moment, right there, guys. Smashed the chicken with a humongous propeller. Who wants like um? Man, I don't even know how to describe that. Shredded chicken? In other words, that's McDonald's, those McDonald's, you know, chicken McNugget things. You know, those things are disgusting. You know, have, have, have any of you ever heard about how those are made? Like, seriously? They basically take the entire chicken. They don't really discriminate what part of the chicken they're putting in there. They just take the whole chicken, the entire thing 
put it in this machine, they grind it down, and it's it's really disgusting. So next time you go to eat the chicken McNuggets at McDonald's, don't. We missed one gem. Hang on, guys. Great. We missed one gem, and it's going to take forever to find it. Let's see. Why does this always happen? I always miss something in the home world. Let's see. Except for Artisans. I don't think I missed anything in Artisans. But every other home world we've missed something in. So I guess I'll be back when I find this stupid thing. You know, that we can just continue talking about life. You know, because that's fun. Like, usually I'm not a vlog-style up here like Nintendo Capri Sun, but, you know, we can give that a shot now that we've got nothing better to do, so. You know, leave things in the comments. What movies have you seen recently? Like, I've been talking about X-Men First Class, because I just got done watching that. And then, let's see. Oh. And also, sorry that I haven't been recording for such a long time, and I'm especially sorry for all you Oblivion fans, because I haven't been recording Oblivion. Like, the last time I recorded Oblivion was like two weeks ago, and I do sincerely, sincerely apologize for that. Except Oblivion got so far ahead of Spyro, so I really want Spyro to catch up. And now I actually want Spyro to be done, because there's another game that I want to do blind that's going to come out on the 13th. And I would really like to beat Spyro before the 13th, and it's actually the 11th, so we've got a lot of recording to do today and tomorrow. And of course, I do have a lot of the state standardized testing going on right now. Oh, really? It was right there the whole time. Why do I always do... What? What is this? What is this? Spyro is holding the gem in between his horns. I feel sorry for all the dragons still trapped in the crystal. Maybe once you'll rescue 50 dragons, then I'll feel a little better. So we'll just stay here. I didn't mean to talk to him. At any rate, we've actually rescued um, 48 dragons. We're only two dragons away. That's the benefit of having this 100% complete up to this point. Anyway, <coughs> this was a fairly productive episode. We moved on to a new world. We tried a new commentary style out while we were doing things. Oh, stupid lag. And also, we are 22 minutes into the recording, so... Oh, I, and I feel like the game's about to freeze right now because it's starting to get really laggy. So this is Sensei Mew 212345 ending this gaming lesson. I don't even know if I did the announcement, did I? Did I do the announcement, guys? Well, we'll see when I go to edit. Oh, man. There's a little blooper. I forgot to start the announcement.